what's going on everybody rob here revisiting this van frame it is super windy but we're going to be painting underneath it right now uh i got my pre getting the shade got my pre and i got four grandkids at the house i gotta hurry up here that's the frame it already got the rust encapsulator on it so all i gotta do is put a light coat of paint over but it's windy as heck it's windy as heck so what i'm gonna do is since i drove it in the rain i was gonna pre it down see it's just it's a cleaner that's all it is so it's gonna get it ready to the surface ready to paint this is a pre-cleaner degreaser cleaner and since it's rain since i went ahead and did it i was just gonna pre the whole thing and wipe it down and do two coats of primer or one coat of paint and we'll see how it comes out all right look how it looks beautiful it's already ready to be painted on right here but look this is when you don't do proper prep i didn't sand it sandblast it or nothing and a piece chipped off so do i expect more to be chipped off yes but it's going to be less for me to maintain down the road the more i take care of it so i'm going to get put a coat of primer right now let me see primer right here black and then i got two coats of this and two coats of gloss every 10 minutes starting now since the wind is blowing towards the rear of the vehicle i'm gonna start with the front because the wind's blowing that way anyways and after i finish this it's gonna be 10 minutes in between one more coat of this and then one more coat of the uh and then two coats oh i just got that on my face and blew this later I think this is where you us blowing this way again. I think this is where you can notice the biggest difference right here. Man, it is windy out today. Alright, that's all primer. I got uh, two coats of this and then uh one coat of gloss. Alright, I'm top coat I'm I'm gloss uh enamel acrylic enamel enamel why don't i put a rubberized undercoating because i feel like the metal needs to breathe all right so that's perfectly solid except for that little chip but i painted over it i was actually gonna tape that off but i just don't got time i have four grandkids with me this came out completely amazing looks brand new and this is the uh primer so now i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with gloss enamel i don't like that they got the new different fans one two three four I don't need all that crap. All right, the wind's still blowing backwards, so I'm starting from front to back. Oh man, the wind just blew great in my face. I did the front when I had the front tire off. See, that looks amazing already. And this is a gloss, so it's gonna dry gloss. And this is actually what protects the primer. And if you want to do really good, top coat it with a, a top coated with a uh, uh, automotive gloss and it's really solid and durable so i am sure to say that's what it's actually gonna look like man the wind's blowing back in my face it is a super windy day today that's what my frame's looking like right now you see them blowing right at me i probably had to clean my whole camera lens That looks pretty sexy. I don't care about the drift. I don't care about anything. I just care about protecting it from rusting anymore. So we'll come back in a little bit and check it out. One more coat, but I'm not going to show you the coat. I put it on three and sprayed it. Then also you got to check it next year. Oh man, you can't even see. I painted over my whole lens over here. All right, government standards. You know me. All right, we're finishing up right here. We're going to go ahead and look at the frame. It looks beautiful, beautiful, perfect frame, beautiful. Okay, that's my frame right there. My whole thing is it's treated against the winter. And that whole thing, if you started watching the video, 
was completely rusted. It was rusted, a lot of rust, a lot of rust. Okay, but then I went ahead and I just put the, all that is is the rust converter. That's where it looks the best right there so you can see it. All I put was the rust converter on it. And then I know I could have taped all that off and made it look nicer. But the winter is here. This is the last 50 degree day. This is the last 50 degree day. So the frame, if you were walking to the van and you looked underneath like the van, your car guy, and you see that, oh, my gate's all the way open. And you see that it's completely rusted that you would see. And then now you see it and it looks brand new. Well, everybody knows not a brand new van, but a well-protected van. And why I didn't use the rust encapsulator is makes a rubber film over it because I feel moisture gets between the encapsulator and the frame. So if moisture gets in there, it's still going to rust in my eyes. And I have a lot better thing with just treating the rust, converting it, fast etching it, something like that, than uh, primer gloss or primer paint gloss. And then uh, you're going to get little patches, two, three, four, five years. And then it's just those little patches that you maintain, but the rest of the frame stays nice. You know, and I've been doing it over 10 years on my gate. And my gate, there's no rust on my slide. Well, down the road, I have more of this Eastwood rust converter. Thumbnail. All right, so you've seen I did the frame on my van. If you've been following along, this was what it did. It converted the rust. This is fast etch. I really like the fast etch. I wish I would have had time to fast etch before I rust converted because this is all get like galvanized paint and metal. But what I used is I used rust converter and then I put primer and then I put gloss enamel on my back gate and the frame of my van. So here's the video. Check it out.